Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Super Mario 64. You can probably guess what we're going to do today. Yep, that's right, we're going to go to Hazy Maze Cave. And yes, before anyone wonders, I know I still have to do Bob Hum Battlefield and do those last stars, but I'm saving that for a particular part of the game, so don't worry, I will come back to that eventually. Do not worry, I have not forgotten about that. <laughs> I'm just waiting until I have all the caps first, that way I can just take one episode, go back to the uh, first floor, and then do all of that, so that's why I'm waiting as long as I am. But anyway, Hazy Maze Cave is in here. Uh, before we go inside the level, though, there is one thing we can get from this toad. Hold on to your hat. If you lose it, you'll be injured easily. If you do lose your cap, you'll have to find it in the course where you lost it. Oh boy, it's not looking good for Peach. She's still trapped somewhere inside the walls. Please, Mario. You have to help her. Did you know that there's an enemy world inside the walls? Yep, it's true. Bowser's troops are there, too. Oh, here, take this. I've been keeping it for you. Okay, so, uh, yeah, he has a power star, so we'll grab that. It's kind of interesting how that one toad said that all of Bowser's minions had the power stars, so... Does that mean that this toad is a Bowser minion? I think he might be. But anyway, we're done with that, so let's go ahead and jump in this pool of black stuff. And first we have Swimming Beast in the Cavern. Okay, so this is Hazy Maze Cave. It's a pretty cool level. Um, it's the first and I think the only underground cave level, so to speak, unless I'm forgetting about something. Uh, basically, you want to go this way. There are two different routes you can take. I'll show the uh, second route when I have to go back this way anyway. So uh, don't worry, I'll cover everything in time. Uh, we have these boulders. Uh, they'll try to kill you, obviously, so watch out for them. Now we're going to take this elevator down. We're going to get hurt in the process, and here is the underground cavern. Now, they talked about a swimming beast in the cavern, and sure enough, there is. We can't see it right now because uh, it's on the other side of this uh, giant platform in the middle of the water. But there it is! Meet Dory, the uh, subterranean uh, Loch Ness monster type of enemy. Uh, she's not really an enemy though, she can't hurt you, she won't hurt you. Uh, basically, she'll guide you to the platform in the middle. Uh, you have to face the platform in the middle, that's why she'll go directly at it. Then if you ground pound her back, she'll lower her head, walk on top of her head, and she'll actually allow you to jump up up to the star, so hooray! Star number one has been gotten. Okay, so now that we're done with that, let's go back inside the black stuff. Now we have to do elevate for eight red coins, but I'm actually going to skip this one and save it for last because uh, in order to get the 100 coin star, you have to get pretty much go through all of the rooms in the level, and I'd like to show off those rooms before we actually get to the star, so I'm going to save this star for last. Uh, the next one we're going to go to is the third power star, which I believe uh, is Metal Mario Can Move. However, um, Metal Mario probably doesn't make sense to you guys, so uh, we're going to have to unlock that first, and we actually unlock it in the very same way. First, we need to go back into the uh, Swimming Beast Cavern. Here is an alternate way to actually get there. Uh, this is actually the uh, 8 red coin room, if you uh, look up and see. But this is kind of a separate room in itself. But you just want to go over here, and I believe once you go inside this door, you'll be right or up the elevator, then up the door. You'll be right where the uh, rolling rock room was. So that's essentially how you get here in both ways. So there, kind of showed you a little pathway through this level, I guess. I really like some of these levels. I feel like these levels were honestly, I don't know, kind of a, uh, I don't know, okay, maybe not. Maybe Super Mario Galaxy had a pretty good way of doing it too, but I like how all the levels were kind of designed and mapped out. I think that they were honestly mapped out very, very well, so I really like that about this game. Just in my own personal opinion, anyway. 
But anyway, now that we're here, uh, we're going to need the help of our good friend Dory again. This time, though, we're not going to go um, onto the middle island. We're actually going to use Dory and uh, have her take us to that door over there. So we're going to let her do just that. So once we get over here, let's go ahead and ground pound her again. I know that seems evil, but honestly, she doesn't mind. If she did, she could just throw us off her back. That's all she has to do, so... We're not animal abusers in this game. Anyway, over here we have another black painting goop thing. And here's where we have Metal Mario, the third cap of the game. Welcome to the Metal, Ma Metal Cap Switch Course. Once you step on the cap switch, the green blocks will become solid. When you turn your body into metal with the metal cap, you can walk underwater. Okay, that's going to be very helpful. And it'll also allow us to get that one star inside Charlie Roger Bay, so... We're going to be pretty well covered after this mission. But, um... Let's go ahead and grab the eight red coins first. I did not mean to fall in the water. Can I get back up? Okay, no, I can't. Um, try not to go to that waterfall over there, because if you do, you'll uh, be taken out of the course. And not only that, you'll be taken out of the castle, too. So you have to make a long trip back just to get to this point. But anyway, uh, two red coins are right there. We have two more red coins around the switch itself. And the last four coins are actually underwater. And we'll need the help of our new cap to actually get it. So let's uh, grab the cap. And then grab these coins. See, that wasn't so hard. That wasn't so hard at all. But yes, let's go back. Come on, Mario, move. Metal Mario can move. So now that we're done with that, we can now go back to Hazy Maze Cave. And since I essentially already went there twice already, I'm going to go ahead and cut out to the Swimming Beast Cavern again, because that's where we need to go. Okay, here we are back in the Swimming Beast Cavern. Now that we have the metal cap unlocked, we can actually get this next star, so grab the metal cap and make your way down. Yeah, you will get hurt if you make a jump like that, but uh, one trick you can use if there's ever water in a level and you're really low on health, just dive underwater really quickly and then jump back up and you'll actually regain all your health pretty quickly. I know I didn't really do that in this case, but I think that's because I was Metal Mario. I wasn't... Uh, normal Mario, and I almost died right there. But I didn't, so Power Star gotten, and there we go. Wow, a lot of these Power Stars are actually really, really easy and very quick to get, so I didn't even realize that. But anyway, um, let's go ahead and go back in. Now we can actually access star number four, or no, we can't. I guess we do have to get this first, but I know how to get all the rest of the stars anyway, so... Honestly, it doesn't really matter, so let's just start from this one. Okay, so uh, this star, uh, we'll find out the name after we complete it, but here is actually where we go inside the maze of Hazy Maze Cave. I know that we haven't really seen much of a maze yet, but there's actually a very dangerous area um, in this room that we can access. Basically, if you go over here... We have a little pit over there, and we also have a sign. Hidden inside the green block is the amazing metal cap. Wearing it, you won't catch fire or be hurt by enemy attacks. You don't even have to breathe while wearing it. The only problem, you can't swim in it. Okay, well, we already kind of figured that out, but what's this say? Danger ahead. Beware of the strange cloud. Don't inhale if you feel faint. Run for higher ground and fresh air. Circle, shelter, arrow, entrance, exits. Okay, so, let's take a look at this, uh, map. Hmm. I think we're going to want to go for those two blue circles right there, because over here kind of looks like the exits, so to speak. So, let's aim for that, I guess. Now, um, here's where the majority of, uh, the coins, I think, will be when we actually do the 100 coin star, so, uh... 
pay attention to all of the enemies and the uh, coins you can get in here. In fact, there's actually a blue switch. This will be very important, as you might figure out. Uh, where are the coins, by the way? Are they over here? Okay, yeah, the coins are that way. I'll remember that for next time. Anyway, we have a door up here, so let's uh, very quickly get out of the poisonous cloud gas stuff. Then we'll uh, go this way. Up the elevator. It's a very long elevator. And then through this door. And funnily enough, this is actually star number five. Not four, but you get four in pretty much the same way. Just go through a different door. But yeah, you have to be very careful. You have to uh, basically hold on to this uh, red beam. It's very easy to fall off right here because when you have to turn, uh, you don't know where Mario's hand is going to go. So just be very careful. You should be able to do this just fine. And there we go. Alrighty. Now we're going to go back in there and do the maze once again. And this time we're actually going to get star number four. You can't even select star four. Well, thankfully you don't have to worry about actually selecting them. Uh, there's no star requirements in this level. You can pretty much do all the stars in any order that you want, so... That's really nice. Anyway... Let's go back to the maze. And this time we're going to go for the second star. Grab the metal cap again. Gotta really love that metal cap. The metal cap is honestly my favorite power-up in the game. Although, no wonder it is, because you freaking can't get hurt by very many things while wearing it. Okay, yeah, there's where the blue coins are all gonna be, so I'll try to remember that for when we actually do that. Anyway, the uh, second star, or rather the fourth star, is up here. Right next to where the fifth star exit was. Hell, we even have another elevator. And... There it is. Okay, so we only have three more stars left. Uh, the red coin star, 100 coin star, and then... Power star number six, which is what we're going to go for next. Power star number six is also really easy. Okay, so uh, this power star is actually called Watch Out for Rolling Rocks. And uh, that should give you a hint that the star is actually in the room with the rolling rocks. In fact, you can probably see it there in the distance. After I kill you, come on. See that down there? Yep, that's the star. So we're going to go grab that. You're probably wondering, though, how in the hell are we supposed to grab that star? It just seemed kind of like in the air over here. Well, we're going to have to use our very favorite Mario move right here. The wall jump. And there it is. See? That's something. Okay, so now that we've gotten that, all we have to do now is get the two coin stars. And uh, I think I'm going to start getting all the yellow coins first. Because, honestly... This is one of the hardest levels to get 100 coins in, just because there's a lot of rooms where you can easily die, and uh, not very many coins either. You have to basically collect everything, and the blue coins you have to get. So, uh, let's go ahead and get started here with the red coin slash 100 coin star.
Okay, here I am back in this room, and I think we're actually going to have enough now, I think. But if not, we can just go back to the Swimming Beast Cavern, because I still haven't touched that place yet. But anyway, uh, first, let's grab these coins before we do anything red coin related. If there's one more spider, I can actually be done with this right now, but... I'm, oh, wait, there we go. There we go. Okay, that'll actually do it, because... Uh, 2 times 8 is 16, and we um, have enough for that, so let's go ahead and get started here. So for the 8 red coins, you want to come up here to this little platform, because on this platform we have an elevator that we can actually control with the arrow buttons. Now, all the red coins are actually, well, not all of them, but at least in this part, most of them are inside these boxes. So what we want to do is we want to go over to them, punch them open, and grab the coin. See? That's simple. Uh, I wish, there might be a way to kill this Mr. Eye over here, but um, I have no idea how you'd go about doing that unless you run the tightest circles around him on that very small platform, which may or may not even be possible. I've never been able to freaking get that blue coin from him. But anyway, I think we've gotten all the coins on this level, so... Next, we're going to move up there to where everything else is. I think we want to go over here to this little... Yes, we do. Okay, so let's uh, move on over. Grab this pole. And then make our way to the second half of this red coin course. This is actually perfect, because we'll get the last coin on that little platform over there, so... Hooray! Hooray for timing this out just perfectly. And hooray for punching boxes. Because punching boxes is fun. So yeah, that's why I'd recommend you do this mission last, so you don't have to like revisit any of the rooms that you don't really want to revisit again. Plus, it's always nice to remember, like, where all the coins are, so you generally have an idea of... Better not knock me off, Swooper. You better not knock me off. Okay, well, I'm not gonna give him that chance, so let's, uh... Make two stars appear at once. Again, make sure you grab the right one first. Grab the 100 coin first. And then once we do that, we can jump down here and get the second one. I almost landed on it. So yes, two stars for the price of one, and I think with that, I'm actually going to end the video here. So this has been Slim Kirby, it's been Let's Play Super Mario Mario 64. I will see you guys next time for level 7, Lethal Lava Land. Later, folks.